After watching this video, you're going to look at Nemo and Dory in a completely different way. We'll also show you the fish that killed the crocodile hunter, and this poisonous fish is considered a dangerous delicacy in Japan. Don't swipe or click away because these are the most poisonous fish in the world. Number 10. Pufferfish Since we mentioned it in the intro, let's start with a poisonous fish people like to eat. This is a pufferfish. They look just like any other fish you'd find in the ocean until they feel threatened. At this point, the pufferfish will inflate its body to about two or three times their original size, revealing spikes that cover every inch of their body. They are not needles that inject the victim with venom like the lionfish, our next pick. These are just simple spikes that do what spikes do best. They prick. The toxins of a pufferfish come out when you consume it, so let's say you catch one and you want to eat it, the first thing you'll notice is that the meat tastes foul. That's thanks to the tetrodotoxin inside, a substance that's 1200 times more lethal than cyanide. In fact, one pufferfish has enough poison inside to kill 30 people. And want to know the crazy thing? Some special Japanese chefs prepare and sell this fish as a delicacy. Rich people pay big bucks just to taste this exotic fish, and aside from the restaurant being regulated by strict Japanese fugu laws, the chef is obligated to undergo three or more years of training before they can even qualify to sell it. Fun fact, some chefs leave part of the toxins inside because they like the way it tingles the taste buds. Number 9. Lionfish the only reason this fish looks dangerous is that it is. It's totally dangerous. It can kill you. So you better stay away from it when you see it. So for everyone living near the Indo-Pacific, this is a warning sign. If you look closely, you can see that they have red, white, and black lines running along their body. This is a warning coloration that says, don't eat me, I'm poisonous. Just like the stonefish, we'll talk about that guy in a while, so stay tuned. They also have spikes that inject their victim with blood. Thanks to its venom, the fish is considered a powerful predator and a health risk for any human that gets close to it. Fishermen and divers often get stung by lionfish. After being injected with the venom, victims will most often experience nausea, fever, dizziness, and maybe even vomiting. Heartburn, diarrhea, and a lot of sweating come with the package. And in a small number of cases, the lionfish can cause heart failure that results in death. Number 8. Stingray this is the fish that managed to kill the crocodile hunter back in 2006. The stingray might look playful, but don't let that fool you for a second. Whenever you're near a stingray, pay close attention to that tail. It's like a harpoon tied to its tail, and if stepped on, they're not afraid to use it. In the majority of the cases, stingrays are considered peaceful, but they've been known to attack humans who provoke them. The blade looks like the edge of a serrated knife, and when it goes inside the body, it'll cause severe damages. After the pain, the swelling, the muscle cramps from the venom, and even potential infection from the bacteria present in the tail, the victim will usually have to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the victim will have to go to the hospital to get the little bone fragments still inside the wound. Number 7. Crown of Thorns What you're seeing is a starfish. They got their name because they closely resemble the crown of thorns mentioned in the Bible. The only difference is, the spikes on this crown of thorns are actually filled with venom. Similar to the other fish that live on coral reefs, the crown of thorns uses those needles to puncture the flesh of any fish or human being that steps on them. They can be found in the Indo-Pacific, and anyone unlucky enough to step on them will experience intense pain that lasts for several hours and continuous bleeding. That's because the toxins of the crown of thorns contain saponins. After the intense pain goes away, swelling and nausea will continue for about a week or more. Number 6. Fang Blenny The Fang Blenny is a very small fish that's part of the species known as comb tooth Blenny. They can be found in the Western Pacific, and people usually buy them because they look cool in aquariums. They're relatively small, only about 4 inches in length, which means they don't require large aquariums. If you look closely, however, you'll notice two large fangs coming out from their lower jaw. But when it comes to their venom, these blennies are special. You see, most poisonous fish intend to kill the predator when they inject them with toxins, not the blenny. The venom they produce has the ability to reduce blood pressure, which will relax their predators and help them escape with ease. And this is the very same reason scientists are researching the venom, hoping to create a new painkiller. Number 5. 
striped surgeon fish. Did I hear someone say dory? Well, if you did, then we should tell you that the striped surgeon fish is not as nice in real life. They live in the Indo-Pacific Reef and everyone that comes into contact with them needs to pay close attention to that caudal spine. That's where the fish stores its venom. Now, while some might think that poisonous fish are deadly, we're here to tell you that studying their venoms can lead to breakthrough drugs that end up saving human lives just like the futuristic Fang Blenny painkillers. Oh, and don't worry, Nemo's on this list too. Number 4. Stargazer Even though there are different types of stargazer fish in the family, they're all venomous, so we'll talk about the family as a whole. They can be found in salt waters across the world, the fish spend most of their lives buried in the sand, waiting to catch some prey that comes near them. As if that wasn't bad enough, these fish are venomous. There are two large venomous spines behind the pectoral fins and the opercles. Oh, but we're not done. Some of the members of the stargazer family have an electric organ and can administer electric shocks. Basically a triple threat. Top 3 Number 3. Clownfish Hey, we told you we're gonna be talking about Nemo in this video, and as you might have already heard from the movie, clownfish are not venomous but the sea anemones they usually call home are. The anemones have these harpoon-like stingers called nematocysts with which they administer their venom. Because this venom is weak, the sea anemone is picked off by predators for its nutrient-rich tentacles, and here's where their symbiotic relationship comes into play. You see, the sea anemone provides protection to the clownfish with the nematocysts, and Nemo, erm, um, we mean the clownfish, provides the sea anemone with nutrients from the waste. It cleans the anemone and it even wards off the large predators with its bright orange colors. The only reason the nematocysts can't inject Nemo with venom and kill him is because of the unusually thick layer of mucus around the fish. Number 2. Box Jellyfish If 6 feet 182 centimeters of its tentacles merely stroke the back of your arm, you're a dead man. Now imagine having this jellyfish wrapped all around you with 10 foot 304 centimeters long tentacles enveloping every inch of your body. That's certain an agonizing death right there. The box jellyfish is a family of venomous medusas that vary in size. Some of them can have tentacles that are 10 feet 304 centimeters long, while others are microscopically small. Those are the ones you can't see with the naked eye, which can still kill you. If detected in the water, they close the beach, saying it's a health hazard. Oh, but the terror drain doesn't stop here. Victims that got stung by a box jellyfish report unbearable burning pain spreading throughout their body, while burn marks that look like a scorching hot whip lacerated their skin appear all over. On each of the four corners of the box jellyfish, there are about a dozen tentacles, and each of them has these microscopic needles that inject the body with venom. Number 1. Reef Stonefish they're considered to be the most venomous fish in the entire world, just 18 milligrams of the verucotoxin is enough to kill an adult human being. But it's even less for children and the elderly. So how hard is it to get injected with 18 mg of this toxin? Well, on the back of the stonefish, there are 13 spines. All of these spines have two venom sacs. When walking in the shallow end of the water, someone can easily step on the stonefish, mistaking it for a rock. That's when the fish will inject 3 mg of venom with every spine. If you step on 6 of them, you've just reached the lethal dosage. Sometimes even boots are not enough to stop the spine piercing your foot. The spines are simply too powerful sometimes. After the injection, the victim goes into shock, paralysis, and then tissue death. The only thing that can help you fight the venom is to immerse the foot in hot water or, the obvious choice, get some anti-venom as quickly as possible. Pro tip, these fish can survive 24 hours out of the water, so watch your foot even when you're at the beach. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the next one. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon.